The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Lady Ada uses her power of engineering every single week to find the parts that you need, and boy, do we got to find some parts. <laughs> There's a lot of parts finding All right, so in my look, life. So if someone wanted to find this specifically from... Uh, they read this book and they're like, oh, you know, what's going on with... Uh... Yeah, so this is... I was, I was showing this earlier, but... Um, this has a whole section on core memory yeah. and how to build it and how it works. And um, so I start to look online because, you know, I, I've always heard people uh, make core memory. Um, let's go to the computer. Uh, so, um, you know, you make it by getting some magnet wire, some thick magnet wire, some thin sense magnet wire that's woven through, and then um, these little magnetic rings. And, and the way that these rings twist uh, will... Um, determine whether the bit stored is zero or one. So, you know, nowadays um, we read and write memory by putting charge on a um, capacitive gate for a transistor, um, and then we read that charge um, later. And, um, you know, that, that's basically how SRAM and DRAM work, and, and it uses a ton less power, and it's a lot faster than, than magnetic core memory. But I think it's funny that, you know, it's like now we use capacitive storage, but we used to use inductive storage in a sense. Um, so while, you know, people don't make core memory and the Fabritec computer probably doesn't have, uh, you know, these, these ferret cores available anymore, although like these are amazingly tiny, only, uh, 14 mil, um, which means you could cram, you know, so much core memory into like, you know, a, a square inch. Um, but you know, people, you know, people need to store data and, you know, if you want to store dynamic information, this was how it was done before, uh, we came up with a capacitive storage. Um, so let's go to DigiKey because, uh, you know, even if you're not uh, making core memory, it is useful to uh, know that you can get ferrite cores at DigiKey. I used to wind my own inductors um, for class or because I was making an amplifier, you know, or something or a filter. Um, I'd, and I'd wind my own inductors. Um, so let's, uh, let's search for... Um, Ferrite core. So they're actually not called cores anymore. They're called toroids. I mean, they are they are called cores. Sorry. Um, sorry, I was searching for magnetic core. They're not called magnetic core. They're called ferrite core. And uh, ferrite cores. Uh, they're actually. Let's see. There's a whole. There's a whole section called. Uh, oh, magnetics transformer and inductor components. This is kind of handy. There's three um, sections. There's the core. There's the magnet wire that spools around, and. Uh, and the bobbins, these are, the, you know, holders, things that, you know, you can store your um, beautifully made inductor on. So I've never, I've never purchased these, but uh, maybe one day we'll, we'll cover these on the Great Search. Anyways, we're looking for a uh, ferrite cores. And there's all sorts of kinds, like there's pieces. And, you know, ferrite cores, again, they're made, for, they're used for a couple different things. One, you're making your own inductor. Uh, you're making your own transformer. Um... While, you know, in, in general, you tend to purchase these pre-made, um, there are times when you really have to uh, DIY it for some reason or you're prototyping and you want to uh, try different inductances instead of like soldering in different inductors, you'd actually just change the number of uh, coils in your wire. Um, of course, they're also really handy for uh, reducing EMI. Um, you know, the, the, uh, having a magnetic core around a wire, you've seen them, you've had like a USB cable with a big lump in it. Um, that reduces the amount of um, electromagnetic interference. So um, used for a couple of things, you know, there's, and more, you know, all sorts of shieldings. Um, I don't know what this E-shape is for, maybe also for maybe ribbon wire. I don't know. Um, actually, kind of neat. We have uh, the Apple II disk drive. It has a gigantic uh, chunk of um, ferrite core material on the, uh, on the cable as well because um, it was a non-differential, so lots of EMI. So these are all very neat, but what we really want is like this kind, which is called a, uh, a toroid. Um, it's a donut shape, but um, they're, they're called a toroid type, so let's, let's look for, uh, also, let's also look for only active ones. And then, you know, there's a lot of um, permeability and um, cross-section. We're not gonna care about that. We're actually just gonna look for the smallest possible one for, again, DIY um, core memory. So let's find where the shape is. Ah, core type. So we're gonna go for toroid type. Boom, okay, so there's a couple hundred of these, but yeah, now we're talking, these are all the same shape and size. And we want the minimum 
size available, um, which would be the diameter. So they do come quite small. I mean, you can get them as small as, um, you know, a tenth of an inch. Let's look up to about, uh, oh, about five millimeters maximum. Um, again, we're not going to make the, the tiniest um, ferret memory, but uh, if you're just DIYing at home. Okay, so let's see what's available. So there's a lot of different ones. Some have photos, some don't, but you know, we don't really need the photo. Let's look at them by diameter size. So I just sorted, oops, I went down to the, um, the diameter and I sorted up by diameter. Uh, so unfortunately, some of the smallest ones are not available. Um, so the smallest available one that is um, in stock, so if we wanted to filter by in stock, not a lot in stock, but the ones that are available for um, size three millimeters, the smallest, and it would be this one. So there's no photo, but uh, not too scary because we kind of know what these look like. <clears throat> there is um, a data sheet and uh, it looks like this. So yeah, it's just a little, little toroid that we can use. Um, and if you want a photo, cause you wanna really, I, I, sometimes I like to see what I'm buying. Hold on. Uh oh, my internet is. Do we run out of internet? Oh no, my internet's not interneting. Oh wait, there it goes. Okay. Um, the the internet smallest- Internet shortage, one, internet supply chain. I know. The smallest one that has a photo is this one. And there's also a lot in stock. Um, we can look at a, a 360. Um, but, uh, you know, look, if you if you need a, a small little toroid, you could, you know, four millimeters is, let's see. I always like to compare. Yeah, so like three millimeters, you could, you know, you, if you wanted to make a small, um, uh, you know, a, a tiny little uh, core memory sheet, you could probably use that. Four millimeters is not that much bigger, so either one would be good. And they're both um, pretty inexpensive. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm zooming in. Okay, this is now quite big. Um, but both are pretty inexpensive. You can get them, they're about 10, 15 cents a piece. Uh, so, you know, I don't know how many people out there are interested in making um, ferret memory, but, you know, if you are making a very small inductor, um, like a Balin, for like ethernet um, or you know for a small boost converter or uh, filtering for like a class D amplifier um, you can still find these quite handy um, you know like put a little bit of uh, magnet wire through them and you know you've got a very small inductance uh, high current inductor um, for sure definitely more high current than a, a chip inductor so I uh, you know I don't know if I'm going to actually make a um, a piece of core memory, but this is, oh, my internet's down again. Oh yeah? Uh, yeah, I don't know, the internet's being, it was slow. There you oh, go. Yeah. Um, Civil, oh no. Civilization. Here you go, okay. So this is the uh, product I picked for the INMPI. So this, this inductor, I liked how it has a little 3D model um, available, but they also have tons in stock. So you can make up to, you know, basically 10 kilobytes of core memory uh, using what's in stock at DigiKey right now. How okay. many is that? And that is the Great Search. Wait.